Hey there, I'm Tyler Lizard, and you're watching a review of Mark Lavelle's Skynet Project. What is up you beautiful people, my name is Tyler Lunsford and welcome back to another magic trick review here on the channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing and take a look around the channel my past reviews. I just did a review of Flatpak, if you'd like to check that out, the link will be down below in the description. I also have many other reviews coming out this week and next week and in the future, so it's going to be a really cool week, really cool couple weeks actually, a lot of stuff, a lot of content, so get excited. Now remember that I purchased the Skynet project with my own money, so you're watching an unbiased magic trick review. That's what you're here for, right? So without further ado, let's get right into the video. What actually is the Skynet project by Mark Lavelle? This is a utility device that you can use as an index system for 52 cards, you can use it for notes that you've written, pictures, money, all sorts of things. And you can also use it as a ditching device or a holdout device. So there are all sorts of things you can do with this system. And I think that it's really cool and it truly is limited by your imagination. Whatever you want to do with this, you need to figure it out because there are so many possibilities. Now that is one thing that I love. I love things that can be utility devices that you can use for multiple different things. And without further ado, let's get into a more in-depth review right now. What are you going to get when you purchase the Skynet project by Mark Lavelle? Well, you'll get this nice box that will come shrink wrapped, and inside of this box is going to be your device that you get to use for the index system. You also will get a password in here that you can use for a video online, stream it, download it, whatever you want. It's about 40 minutes long. Javier from Murphy's Magic and also Mark Lavelle are on it. They go through different ways to use the device for different routines. They go through how to use it, how to set it up, and pretty much everything you need to know in order to perform the Skynet project. Mark goes over his routine that he does in the trailer with the paper bag and the card appearing inside of the paper bag, so you get to learn that. But like I said, this is limited by your imagination, so really, you decide what you want to do with this device. Is this what it appears to be? Yes, it is. This is a utility device you can use as an index system for many different things. It truly is limited by your own imagination. How difficult is this to perform? Well. It's not that difficult to perform at all. It will take a little bit of practice just to get some of the moves down. You will need a little bit of misdirection to actually dig into the device and use the index system, or at least just make sure you have stuff going on around you. So that will take a little bit of practice of getting actually used to using it. So you will need to put a little bit of practice into it, but it won't take that long once you get it down. Is this example? No, the device is not examinable, but your spectators will never know it even exists. They will not want to examine it because they don't know about it. So the device is not examinable, but the cards, the pictures, the billets, whatever, the notes that you pull out of the device and hand out, those are totally examinable. They're totally normal. You can let them examine them all they want and they will not find anything. How are the angles? The angles are okay. Now, you will need a little bit of audience management, like I said, a little misdirection to make sure you're actually getting the correct card out of the index or whatnot without seeming too suspicious. So I would keep my audience in front of me. I don't want them behind me because then you can't really distract them with anything in front of you. So I would say keep your audience in front of you. How much setup and reset is there? Well, the setup is gonna take a little bit of time just because you're probably gonna change it every now and again because you're gonna be doing different routines. Now, if you wanna do the card index, and that's gonna take a little bit of time, you gotta fold up every card and get ready for it and just put them in the right spot. So that will take a little bit of time, but once you're actually set up, the actual reset is just placing the card back and you're good to go for the next performance. So there's like a one-time setup for the routine that you wanna do, and then it's just a two-second reset after that and you're ready to go for the next performance. Are there negatives to performing the Skynet project? Yes, because there are clothing restrictions. All I'm gonna say is you probably need to perform this with a jacket to make sure that you cover this properly and that is all I'm gonna say about that. So there are some clothing restrictions, but it's not like it's a hard thing to get around. If you're wearing a suit, then this is totally okay for you. If you're wearing like a hoodie, like a zip up hoodie, this is totally fine for you. So it's not that big of an issue, but you do need to be aware of it if you are going to be performing in an area where you need to be wearing specific attire. Now, even though there are clothing restrictions, you can set this up to use with a table or something like that so you can perform in short sleeves, but you would have to have a table near you or somewhere to put the device. 
So what are the positives to performing the Skynet project? I've already mentioned this a lot, you're probably tired of me saying it, but it's limited by your imagination. That is a major positive. Now, I just love utility devices that you can do whatever with, so it's a positive that you can pretty much use this for anything your imagination wants you to. What should this retail as? Well, this currently retails at 60 US dollars. It does seem a bit steep, but the quality of the device, the gimmick, is, is very well. It's, it's very well made, so it's not like you can complain about that. The packaging is great, the tutorial is great, and also you're going to be doing so many different routines and using so many different ideas with this that I think it's okay to pay 60 bucks because you're going to get so much out of it. So should you pick this up, if you want to perform a routine where you have something that is freely selected and then you can make it appear somewhere or have it predicted already, then definitely pick this up. But just be aware that there are some clothing restrictions like I mentioned earlier. So as long as you're okay with those, then I think you should definitely go pick this up. That about does it for this review video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to help you out and you can make a more informed decision now on whether or not you want to purchase the Skynet project by Mark Lavelle. If you would like to, the link will be down below in the description. Now, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can. My handle is at TyronOneSwordMagic. There you can ask me questions about my upcoming reviews and I will go ahead and at the end of this video, I will show the products that I am reviewing in the future in the next couple weeks, possibly the end of this week. So definitely get your questions in so you can be featured in the review. Now without further ado, I would like to say thank you for watching this video. You are the reason that I like to put up these YouTube videos. So I hope I'm being helpful to you. And if I am, then definitely consider subscribing. Now I will see you in the next video. See ya. It's a sneak peek.